All right, so it's May 24th, 2021. We've got a 2011 Chevrolet Camaro with the 2SS, SS2, however, however it's pronounced or put together. Uh, obviously, with the 6.2 liter V8. We bought the car with uh, some issues. And um, basically what it would do is you would start accelerating and then it would just dump out instantly like we're talking as soon as you're in first gear you start pulling out it would dump out and then just you know have no power and really though it just was just erratic and misfiring and cracking nuts and the previous owner thought it was fuel system he's brought it to different places and they really couldn't get it figured out so um I found it and I made the guy an offer and I bought it. All right, so after troubleshooting, um, pretty much the scan tool does all the work with this new stuff a lot of times. Not every time, but a lot of times you can see what's going on, you can see values, and you can see what's happening. And it hollered for a mass airflow sensor. Well, according to the scan tool, you can look at the you can look at the values coming back and forth, and there's nothing coming from the, the mass airflow sensor. So I noticed I go out there, pop the hood. It's got a brand new one on it. So I asked the previous owner. I said some little message. I said, "Hey, did you put a mass airflow on that?" He said he did. Well, that was you know probably a year and a half ago. He said he did that because it's been sitting a while. So at any event. I decided, well, I'll go, I'll put another mass airflow sensor on it. So I went, I did, and same thing, same problem. So I did some troubleshooting, check, checked wiring harnesses, and checked this, that, and the other, and I thought, man, let's put an AC Delico OEM mass airflow on it. Yes, it's almost three times the money, but let's see what it does. So I go to GM. Get the mass airflow sensor sticking on, and now here we are. So let's see what it does. Now, I'm no expert, and I'm not an expert driver. So we're, you know, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a race car right driver. We're just gonna start this thing up, see what it does. It instantaneously gives an issue. So let's see what this car does. Okay. Pretty good. Let's see what it does. That heads up display is cool. I like that. I've never had a vehicle with that before. Here we go. Let's see what she does. Oh. Oh yeah. She's got it. Oh yeah. She's alive. Mass airflow from the factory. What does it mean? I have to ask. I'm gonna slow down here. What does it mean? I'm sure people are watching. What does it mean when I push this button twice? Stability track competitive mode. What does that mean? Somebody please answer that for me. Let's see what it does here. Take care of it. So, moral of the story is, this is great. This is great news. I'm not gonna say what I paid for this car. It's crazy what I paid for this car. So let's. Just, wow. Um. Yeah. So this thing is gonna be uh, on the uh, marketplace here pretty soon because I really don't need a V8 car like this. But I just bought it just something to fiddle with. But uh, we'll stick it on some kind of website somewhere we'll sell it but uh, anyway yeah so if somebody could tell me what that means I know it's a truck's control button I'm not that ignorant but uh, what does what's competitive mode what does it do what's the point of it please don't be disrespectful or anything like that just tell me you know what it means I know it what it does but 
somebody could just tell me what it means. I know this car has a posse, because when I had it up on the lift, um, you can just tell. So we got a posse going on here. So, um, anyway, so yeah, it's cool. The car's fixed. No check engine light. And uh, we have a successful road test. Have a blessed evening.